Today was day seven of Buffalo Bills training camp, August 3rd, 2023. And I felt like the defense still won the day today. Um, and it was mostly because of the defensive pressure, but not quite as, as big as the last practice where the defensive line was really overwhelming. This time, the offense did have some good plays. It felt like they really tried to get um, Cook involved, James Cook, in the passing game at least. And uh, James looked really good in the passing game. And Gabe Davis had a couple of nice plays, including a one-handed touchdown catch. Stefan Diggs had a couple of nice catches and got into it a little bit with Micah Hyde, throwing the football at Micah Hyde after he pushed him out of bounds. And um, Dawson Knox had a nice touchdown run. I love that. Love to see Dawson Knox carrying the football in for a touchdown. And Don Kincaid has become Mr. Reliable. Day after day in practice, he does not look like a rookie. He shows that he does not look like a rookie because he comes out and he is consistent day after day having really good practices. So, um, also, I, I, I noticed Shorter had a really nice, a couple of really nice catches, and so did Shavers. So, uh, some of the other wide receivers are playing as well, and Andy Isabella, too. So, um, really good day for the receiving core, although I still thought the defense won the day. And the defensive pressure um, kept it up. The offensive line, again, looked better than they did the last practice. But when um, Leonard Floyd got his hands up and knocked down a pass, and then A.J. Epinesa got his hands up and almost intercepted a pass. Who knows, it could have maybe gone even for a pick six. But he did inter uh, almost intercept a Josh Allen pass. We got both hands on the football. And that pressure was helping, I feel, on the back end, too, because Christian Benford had an interception, and then Kair Elam had a beautiful interception and um, was really happy to see that for Kair. So the defense, I still felt, won the day today, but the offense made up a little bit in that gap, if that makes any sense. So, um, yeah, another great day for uh, training camp. I'm really proud of our guys, and as they continue forward. There was a player at the end of practice. I didn't know who it was. It looked like he was trying out, but uh, maybe we'll hear more about that tomorrow or even later this evening. As far as autographs, before practice, I finally got an autograph. I've been carrying this picture around for three years. Three years. And it's a little wrinkled because of it. <laughs> but I think it's really the last defensive lineman that I didn't have, and it's A.J. Epinesa. Before practice, he came over and signed that for me. He said, I got you. And I told him I've been holding this picture for three years, and he giggled and said, really? Wow. So, yeah, I was finally able to get his autograph. And then after practice, called over Nick Broker, and Nick signed this for me. Nick uh, drafted this year by the Buffalo Bills. A couple of people were saying thank you, Spencer, to him. So I had to make sure they knew that this was Nick Broker because um, I didn't want them to continue to say thank you, Spencer Brown. Um, they really don't look much alike at all. Nick has got a, uh, quite the nose on him. Hate to say. And uh, Spencer Brown is a bigger guy. So taller. And uh, anyway, I appreciate Nick coming over to sign that. And then uh, this year's second round draft pick, Osiris Torrance, signed this. So I'm trying to get some offensive linemen. They're a little bit harder to get because they come in from the side and then they leave early and they have to get into those ice baths and things. So offensive linemen are a little bit harder to get, but um, that's what I need here to continue to add to the great wall behind me. So, uh, back to practice, you know, I, I hope that the offense can continue to develop all these weapons. I'd like to see Shakir more involved and uh, see him get some pass attempts. Hopefully they can do that here as we move into the red-blue game tomorrow. I do not know why they call it the red-blue game because they usually wear blue and white. It should be the blue-white game because quarterbacks wear red and you can't touch those guys. But, you know, anyway... Um, 
So that'll be interesting tomorrow in Buffalo at High, Highmark Stadium and um, learn a little bit more about the team there. As last year, I remember the big thing, I think for the whole training camp happened at the Red Blue game when they handed the ball to Zach Moss three times in a row from the one yard line and he didn't get in any of those times. It really was a foreshadow for our season that we would have a hard time, not just Zach, but getting that short yardage into the end zone for a touchdown because that's something they struggled with all season and they ended up having to start throwing passes. And when the defense knows you can throw, you're gonna throw passes and when you're in the red zone, that makes it even harder. And that's why there were some turnovers last year, but we'll see tomorrow if we learn anything big like that um, during the season. I did like the fact that um, Sam Martin lining up as a wide receiver again today, as I mentioned that yesterday, he wanted to go out for a pass, but um, you know it's a running play and they're gonna draw a running play. They're running running play drills because the wide, other wide receivers are all somewhere else. But just to give the DB something to look at, uh, Sam lines up over there and so does Tyler Bass on the other side. But um, a really good practice. Uh, after practice as well, did get a chance to talk to Trey White a little bit. And Trey um, told me uh, how excited he is for the upcoming season and so happy that he's back playing football. And you could see a different Trey White. I, I, I mentioned this in another video, but before he got injured, Trey White was so focused and in line at every game that he would just be right on that. Um, and that's fine. So that's the way players want to do it. But now I see a different Trey White, a happier Trey White. And I like happy. We all should like happy. But anyway, <laughs> let's all be happy to know that God loves you. You. God loves you. And so do I.